A day away from the official start of summer. It's the season with the shortest nights and warmest weather. To get a better idea about the science behind summer, KIMT Storm Team 3 meteorologist Travis Clark-Smith is breaking it down for us all. Spending time enjoying the outdoors is common for the summer. The heat, the humidity, the chance of storms every day this week are definite signs of the season but the definition of the summer is a little more precise. The summer solstice marks the point in time at which the North Pole is at its maximum tilt towards the sun. For our area in 2024, that point will occur at 3.51 p.m. on Thursday, June 20th. The solstice marks the longest day of the year for everyone living north of the equator. The farther north you go, the longer the daylight. In fact, north of the Arctic Circle, 24 hours of sunlight is experienced. Here at home, though, there are still a few hours of darkness. Mason City's day will be 15 hours, 22 minutes, and 51 seconds. A 91-mile distance makes a nearly 7-minute difference as Rochester's day will be 15 hours, 29 minutes, and 23 seconds. The tilt closer to the sun and the longer day length are just a couple reasons why we experience those warmer temperatures. Add in that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico brought in by southerly winds and you've got the humidity that makes our summer days a bit more sweltering. All of that together is the fuel for those late afternoon and evening thunderstorm chances that we all know and love so much. The long day gives plenty of time to enjoy those outdoor activities from early in the morning through the late evening. But unfortunately for daylight lovers, we start to lose that daylight on Friday. In Rochester, meteorologist Travis Clark-Smith, KIMT News 3. As for those longer summer days, they're happening slowly. Rochester and Mason City will only lose one second of daylight on Friday.